little Sean here with the Spirit of Tassie in the backdrop. Community camp coming up too? Yeah, community camp next week and we're committed to five years down in Tasmania for community camp. So it's exciting for the boys to get down there. Obviously with the relationship that we're playing games um, and it's a good opportunity this year to kickstart that. Working with the Spirit of Tasmania as well to bring a bit of the community side of things down there as well? Yeah, thanks to the Spirit of Tasmania and their funding, we're able to take the huddle down to Tasmania and um, just a, another opportunity to engage the community along with school visits and clinics and, and also playing down there. So it's a great opportunity next week for the huddle to get involved. Let's talk about yesterday's game. What were the main takeouts? Oh, it, was a, it was a good game. It was just another step in the right direction for a, a young group over pre-season. And um, it's been an exciting pre-season when you, when you bring in 11 new faces. And um, like I said, just another step to continue the uh, educational process that's been going on the last four or five months. And there were some promising signs from some young guys who were thrown in the deep end a little bit because we were, we were really inexperienced, especially down back. And I thought the guys stood up against some quality opposition and they had some big bodies down there. Do you feel like it's a bit of a vindication for how your pre-season has gone? I mean, there have been some people who have been a bit pessimistic about North's prospects this year. I know it's the first pre-season game with a really young side, but do you feel like it's a vindication for the work you've done? Oh, it's always nice to get the win, even though it's not, it's not that important. But I think with a young group and in tight game, in tough conditions up there, it was important for us to get that win. I mean, we're not really fussed out, outside of the footy club what the expectations are. We know exactly where we're at. We've had a promising pre-season and we've got some exciting young guys who were on display yesterday. When you've got a young side in, is it almost important to build momentum? I know normally this time of year it's about performance rather than result, but can you build momentum in the pre-season? Oh, a little bit. No, that's what I mentioned. I think most teams would, would take the process over the, the end result. But I think yesterday in, tight, in a tight game, um, it's just good for young guys playing their first game to experience that win. It's, it's not for four points, but a win's a win, and we always we play to win, even in practice matches. So I think there's a little bit of that, but along with the win, I thought we went about it pretty well. A lot of you have had to step up your leadership with a lot of older guys leaving at the end of last season. Who's really stood up and um, leading the way? So. Oh, look, I think everyone's taken it on board. Um, the leadership group is reasonably similar to last year with the inclusion of Robbie Tarrant who hopefully can get out and play some footy soon. Um, but I think the exciting part of yesterday was we mentioned the young guys that were thrown in the deep end and, and lacked some experience but stood up really well. Braden Proof has got himself a lot of publicity over the pre-season so far and, and proved yesterday that he, he's got a lot of potential. Um, is, there a, is there a spot for him in the home and away season do you think or is he is he going to struggle to, uh, to, to get a game? Oh no! Look, he'll he'll warrant a game if his if his form continues. And it's just a really good story from two years ago, not playing a lot of footy at all. And his pre-season's been really good. He's he's worked hard. He's always doing the extras. He's a big, strong body, um, as you can see. And uh, it's it's great reward for him to play the way he did yesterday. And it also is encouraging for us that if something happens to Goldie, then we've got a ready-made replacement for him. And Nathan Robat looks like he could be a pretty handy recruit for you as well. A couple of goals yesterday with 16 odd touches. Yeah, he was. He, um, I spent some time with him at the Bulldogs and um, was really excited when we got him because I thought he was, uh, when he got drafted, one of the, the best young guys going around down there. Um, and he showed that all pre season. He was really good in intra clubs and it was good for him to get a little bit of reward yesterday. And I think he's going to play an important part for us this season. You mentioned those 11 new faces. I know you're not part of match committee, but how many do you think realistically could be there come round one? Yeah, well, that's that's the good thing, but the tough thing uh, for the coaches that everyone that played yesterday played their role and uh, probably warrants a game next next week. But we've got senior guys coming in, so it's going to be a an, a tough call just for next week, let alone round one. But um, it's always a good position, uh, and that's why they're the coaches and we're the players. Speaking of next week, Arden Street, that's a, you know, a pretty unique set of circumstances. A sellout game at the club's traditional home. What, what's that going to be like? Are you expecting a, a big build-up? Yeah, we hope so. It's exciting, actually, to, uh, to be involved in the first game for, for so long, and um, probably more so for the supporters as well, to get back to grassroots footy. There'll be a lot of memories for a lot of people down there, and, um, and also, hopefully, a really good hit out against quality opposition for us. And um, like I said, just an, another step in the direction of building towards round one. John Goldstein be back for that one? Uh, I'm not 100 percent sure, but he was training last week, so I'd imagine um, he'd be close. And if it's not this week, it'll, it'll definitely be the last one. Looking at your game, is there anything you're trying to do differently this year, or have you changed the focus or anything at all? Personally, yeah, personally. 
Uh, not really, just continue to build on what I did the previous pre-season, which was to hopefully play a little bit more time in the midfield, which we started to do that. And unfortunately, the season um, got impacted with the meniscus injury. But this, uh, this pre-season has been a lot of time through the midfield and hopefully get a 50-50 split up forward and a little bit of what we saw yesterday. How much more improvement do we expect in Mason Wood this season? Oh, a lot. I think he's... Um, you know, a handful of quality games last year before an injury, and he's still young. He'll he's still going to take uh, some time to reach his full potential. But he's got every attribute you need in a in a quality forward and an AFL player, and um, he's got an exciting future. But he'll um, he's still got some work to do.